Hello everyone. Now targeting 2026, the year 2026. Now before we start our preparation for 2026, we must understand that what are we actually preparing for. So friends, the integrated program in management offered by some of the top IMs like IM Indore, IM Rohtak and many more other colleges. Now all these programs which are offered, which are integrated program in management, now, primarily, I can say that we have three examinations to target, right? So, if we understand what we'll have to target for, what actually we are preparing for, then we will be able to do proper justice with our preparation and with a clarity in our mind, we'll be able to focus on whatever things we'll have to prepare for, whatever subjects are there, whatever sections are there. And then we able will be probably able to uh, get into any of these uh, big colleges of the country. Now, primarily, if I talk about three different examinations, examination number one, IPMAT Indore, examination number two, IPMAT Rota, and examination number three, JIPMAT. Now, these three are the uh, like I would say. Uh, the three examinations that we are targeting for to get admissions in integrated program and management offered in these colleges. I am Indore, I am Rohtak and I am Jammu and many other IMs which have recently started in the last few years which have recently started with their integrated program in management. Now not only IMs but uh, through these colleges uh, we can get into some other colleges as well which are not IMs. Right. So now we understand that what are we targeting for? So we are targeting for these three examinations. Now talking specifically from the point of view of logical reasoning and data interpretation section. Now do we have logical reasoning and data interpretation section uh, tested in each of these three examinations? So let's first of all understand this thing. Okay. The composition of the exams, the composition of these three examinations one by one. Now, I am Indore. If I look at the structure of this examination, this entire exam is divided in three different sections. Now, section number one is quantitative uh, ability, which is a subjective answer type questions. Now, here you will have to type in your answer and uh, this section contains 15 questions, right, which needs to be completed in 40 minutes. All right. Now, the second section is again quantitative ability, which is MCQ type questions. So in the first section, there were 15 questions in which you'll have to type in your answer. In the second section, you'll have to select one of the correct options among the multiple choice questions which are given. Now, this section will have a total of 30 questions and uh, once again, 40 minutes are given to you. Now, the third section being verbal ability, 45 questions and 40 minutes. Now, where do we see logical reasoning or data interpretation? Now, as far as sections are concerned, you cannot see any of the sections, any of the separate sections for logical reasoning or data interpretation. But here is a catch. Now, there are like every year, there are five questions of a single set, five questions which are asked in a single set, which is there in this uh, section of uh, in uh, uh, quantitative ability in MCQs, right? So pick up the papers of last five years and you will see exactly five questions in every examination, in every section of quantitative ability MCQs, wherein all these five questions belong to a single set. Now these five questions are either from logical reasoning or data interpretation. Right. So, it's not that there is logical reasoning or data interpretation, interpretation ka section nahi hai, then data interpretation logical reasoning is not tested in this examination. No. So, five questions, a single set of five questions every year you'll see either from logical reasoning or data interpretation. Right. Now, from which topics are these questions asked? We'll discuss about that in a few moments. Now, moving on to the other examination, IPMAT Rotak. Now, IPMAT Rotak has a separate section for logical reasoning and data interpretation. As you can see here, there are 40 questions asked which needs to be answered in 40 minutes, right? So, you can observe that uh, there are sectional time limits as well in both these examinations, right? So, there will be a separate section, 40 questions to be uh, finished in 40 minutes, right? Now, going to the third examination, JIPMAT, 
This also has a separate section for logical reasoning and data interpretation. So here you can see this section out of the three section. One of the sections is of uh, LRDI, which has a total of 33 questions, right? And four marks per section uh, per question will be allocated to you, right? So we can see that uh, logical reasoning and data interpretation is very important, is an integral part of JIPMAT and IPMAT Indoor and IPMAT Rota, right? Now, what do we have to prepare for uh, as far as logical reasoning and data interpretation is concerned, right? So, first of all, let's look at logical reasoning. Now, logical reasoning has different uh, topics. Now, data interpretation is a single thing that is based on a little bit of calculations, percentages, ratios and averages. But logical reasoning is one thing that has a very vast syllabus, okay? Now, what we have done is we have divided logical reasoning in two different parts. One is quant based reasoning or I'll say analytical reasoning and the other one is verbal based reasoning, right? So in the examination of IPMAT, Rotak and JIPMAT, you will see a mix of questions from all these areas which are written in front of you. Now, quant based reasoning has all these topics from which the questions have been asked in the last few years, right? So you will see at least one question from each of these areas. There are some areas which are more important than the other areas because of the number of questions that have been asked over the previous years. Now we'll talk about series, coding, decoding. These are some areas from which more than one question have been asked. If you look at these uh, topics, so you will find some independent questions which will be asked from these areas as well as some questions which will come in a form of a set of more than one question. So areas like input output. So rarely you will see a single question asked from input output. So generally, generally speaking, if a question comes from input output, then this particular thing comes in a set of at least three or four questions, right? So once you catch the logic of these uh, uh, like logic of that particular uh, question in uh, according to the directions which are given to you, then you will be able to crack the entire set of three or four questions, right? So all these areas, what I was saying is, are under quantitative reasoning, right? And these areas are a part of verbal based reasoning wherein you will require to enhance your verbal skills, okay? Now, this is the entire syllabus in front of us. Now, how to start with our preparation? So this session is all about making a proper strategy for the next one year because we are preparing for IPMAT 2026. And if I talk about this year, 2025, so first examination JIPMAT will be conducted or was conducted on 26th of April, 2025, right? So assuming that next year also, the examinations will fall in the month of April or May. Then if you are watching this session in the month of March or April or May or June, then accordingly you can set a complete timeline for yourself, right? Now, let's understand how to prepare for the entire logical reasoning, right? What should be the right approach? What should be the right way? how we can divide all these uh, topics uh, in different parts and focus on those parts one by one so that we'll be able to tackle this entire section, okay? Now, I have arranged all of them in a proper sequence, right? So I'll be dividing all these areas in few parts and I'll be giving you a proper timeline in which you need to finish off with these areas, all right? So whenever you are starting, whenever you are starting, divide the entire time in five parts, okay? So, so you'll have to divide the entire time in five equal parts, okay? So let's say uh, if you have 10 months left for your examination, complete 10 months you are left with, okay? So now you can divide these 10 months in five equal parts of two to months each. Right. Okay. Now, if I'll start from today, I can say that uh, if, if let's say you are uh, watching this session uh, in the month of April, then from April to April, we have exactly 12 months, but I'll remove two months from there. 
because uh, if you are in 12th standard then you will be having your board examinations which will consume the entire one month and the preparation of board examination will again consume one entire month so 12 months may say two months to ye remove hi kar do jo aapko apni school ki studies ke liye and uh, board examinations ke liye chahiye honge so overall we have 10 months left with us i am not saying that you will have to devote all these 10 months entirely for the preparation of it mat obviously parallelly you have your school you have your other activities right so now i am not giving you a challenging thing right so let's see how we can divide all these things in different parts okay now first of all the target that we are setting for ourselves should be achievable agar main abhi se hi ek aisa target set kar dunga jo achieve ho hi nahi sakta then it will be very difficult to uh, like uh, achieve that target and uh, you will not be able to do justice with your studies and you will collapse in the middle okay so five parts mein humne divide kar diya okay now this entire section i'll divide in two parts and then this is one part so three parts will be consumed three parts of this timeline will be consumed to complete these topics all right so the first part ends here distribution pe so series number and letter series coding decoding odd one out analogies blood relations direction senses arrangements both linear and circular and distribution now this particular portion should be finished in a matter of 2 months right 2 months if you have 10 months left and you have divided it in five parts of 2 months each now if you have 8 months left 8 divided by 5 is 1.6 so 1.6 months approximately one and a half months right so you can divide this time accordingly jitna zyada time hoga utna properly studies kar paoge utna acche se samajh mein aayega jitna late start karoge utna time frame kam milega aapko so let's say abhi aapko 2 months mil rahe in sab cheezon ke liye then you will be getting only one month to do all these things right so you can take a decision of starting your studies as early as possible right so two months will be given to all these things now what you have to do in these two months you'll have to attend all the live lectures of these if you have joined a batch right so yes we'll be starting with our batches soon for 2026 okay so you can uh, just first of all cover up all these basics even if you don't have any live lectures available, then we have our YouTube channel wherein we deliver a lot of lectures which will cover some of the basics of these areas, right? So you will have to focus on the basics of these areas and practice 20 questions of each of this type. Har ek type ke 20, 20 questions practice karne hai, right? So concept and 20 questions, concept and 20 questions. This should be repeatedly followed for all these areas for the next two months now some of these topics are so easy that you will require only one hour or two hours to cover up all the theory right concept jo bhi user hai, uske liye one or two hours lagenge. and then you can practice these 20 questions that will take another one or two hours right so each of these topics like most of these topics will require four to five hours of practice right so two months will have eight weeks eight weeks hai. one two three four five six seven seven topics even i uh, even if i'll consider these two topics separately so we have eight topics eight weeks eight topics one week one topic completely you will have to do okay i'm taking care of your school studies as well right now next part one two three four five six seven again seven topics to be completed in next two months right now make sure that you have at least one week one week buffer time right after this so do not complete it in eight months complete it in seven months sorry do not complete it in eight weeks complete it in seven weeks right and one week that is left over after finishing off with these areas that must be utilized for the revision of whatever you have done earlier similarly seven weeks all these seven topics and one week for the revision right now coming to the next two months now this will require some uh, like uh, uh, some hard work because these areas are slightly difficult to understand okay 
So these are the five areas and you can uh, practice all these areas in the next seven weeks and then one week that is left will be utilized to practice all of them. So two plus two plus two, six months are over. Now we are left with a time frame of two plus two months. Now what you need to do in these two plus two months? So you can start practicing questions. Now questions ki practice alag alag tarike se ho sakti hai. Number one, you will have topic wise test. Number two, you will have sectional test. And number three, you will have mock test series, right? So now what you can do is, you can start first of all with the topic wise test and finish all of them, okay? And then once you are done with topic wise test, immediately start with your sectional test. Ab jab bhi sectional test kar rahe ho, now you will be coming across your weak areas, theek hai? Ab Time aega weak areas pe focus karne ka, right? So abhi tak humne kya kiya? We are done with the basics and some practice of these things. We have already practiced topic wise test. Now once we are entering the sectional test, once we are looking at the entire section, then we will get to know in which topic we are weak at, okay? So this is the time when you will start working on your weak areas. You will understand your strengths. You will understand your weaknesses. Right? So after you finish one of the sectional tests, immediately after that, do a complete analysis of that sectional test. Okay? A sectional test or a mock test is incomplete without the analysis. So do a proper analysis and then mark your weak areas, mark the questions in which you are committing mistakes, you are committing errors. If these are calculation errors, these are conceptual errors, try to understand all these errors and then start working on those. So let's say after one sectional test, you get to understand that you are not good at Venn diagrams. You are making a mistake in a particular type of question. So for next one day, spend two to three hours on the questions of Venn diagrams, especially on the questions of Venn diagrams, so that this area is no longer your weak area. Now, same thing for the last two months, when you are uh, writing uh, the mock papers every second or third day, right? So this is what you will have to do in those last two months. Now these last two months essentially will be after your board examinations. So board examinations will be over in the month of uh, May, sorry, in the month of March, right? First week of March, second week of March, whenever in the month of March and then half of March, April, April mein JIPMAT ka exam hota hai, then May mein ITMAT ka exam hota hai. So somewhere around one, one and a half, two months will be there with you after your board examination. And this is the time wherein you will have to write a, a mock test every second day, right? Now every second day writing a mock will help you in taking near to this examination, right? Uh, like uh, it will ensure that your preparation is up to the mark. Right? So friends, with this strategy, with this proper direction, you can tackle any section of any of the examination. But the more important thing is you'll have to plan out everything and you will have to execute that plan properly. Right? So friends, all the very best to all of you. And I'll see you with many more sessions in which I'll be giving you more directions about how to prepare for LR and DI section for all these examinations that will be there in 2026 in front of you. All the very best.